Hi guys, Saks Studio here and for today, we are going to share on how we do our daytime exterior rendering in Lumion. For this video, we will be focusing on the Lumion rendering effects. If you are interested in figuring out on how to do Lumion model similar to this one, just comment down below. For the Lumion model that we will be using on this video, it would be posted in our Gumroad website which is called HTC One. You can download the Lumion model for free or you can support us by donating. The version of HTC One is Lumion 10, so only people with Lumion 10 or higher versions of Lumion will be able to open the model. So here is the exterior Lumion model of HTC One. It's a two-story duplex house with a modern rustic design. When capturing exterior scenes in Lumion, we usually put a lot of trees behind the camera or in front of the exterior model. This is so that the trees would create overcasting shadows from the sun and it would also cover the horizon. For this Lumion model, we are going to set the editor quality into low. This is to lessen the lag a bit. Let's click the camera icon and there should be a captured image already in set. Focal length should be 28.1 millimeters. Now for the rendering effects, let's add the global illumination effects first. The default setting for the global illumination should be already good, so we don't have to change anything for this one. After the global illumination, let's add the hyperlight effects. Let's set the amount to 91.1% and enable preview should be on. After the hyperlight, let's add the skylight effects. Brightness should be 2 or maximum, and saturation would be 1. Skylight in planar reflections and skylight in projected reflection should be on and render quality should be set to ultra. After the skylight, let's add the print poster enhancer effects. Enabled should be on. After the print poster enhancer, let's add the reflection effects. Reflection threshold should be 25 centimeters or maximum. Speed ray reflection should be on. And let's set the preview quality low for now. Click the edit reflection plane and let's select all of the surfaces that are highly glossy or reflective. After the reflection, let's add the shadow effects. Sun shadow range should be 200 meters. Color would be 0.3. Brightness is 0.1. Interior exterior would be 0. Omni shadow is 0.5. Shadow correction is 1. And shadow type should be normal. Also, soft shadows and fine detail shadow should be on. After the shadow, let's add the bloom effects. Let's set the amount to 0.1. After the bloom, let's add the sharpen effects. Intensity should be 0.2. After the sharpen, let's add the color correction effects. Temperature would be 0.4, tint is 0.2, vibrance would be 0, brightness is 0.6, contrast is 0.5, saturation would be 1, gamma correction is 1, limit low is 0, and limit high is 1. After the color correction, let's add the lens flare effects. Streak intensity should be 0.8, streak rotation is 1, streak count would be 15, streak dispersion is 0.7, streak fall off is 1.7, bloom amount would be 0.7, Six. Master brightness is 0.2 Anamorphic streak amount is 0 Ghosting amount is 0 Isolate bright pixels is 0.4 Halo amount would be 0 And lens dirt amount is 0 After the lens flare, let's add the exposure effects Exposure should be 0.5 After the exposure, let's add the autumn colors effects The default setting for the autumn colors is already good After the autumn colors, let's add the real skies effects Let's click on the select real sky And choose cloudy 7 on the cloudy tab Heading should be 52.6 degrees, brightness is 2 or maximum. Overall brightness would also be 2 or maximum. And flip sky is off. After the real skies, let's add the precipitation effects. Rain snow should be 0, precipitation phase is 0.3, particle quantity would be 0, particle size is 0.5, blocked by plants and trees would be 0.2, blocking distance is 0, extra fog addition is 0.1, and block bias would be 0. Okay, this is good. After the precipitation, let's add the fog effects. Fog density would be 1.3, fog fall off is 0, fog brightness is 0.5, and brightness should be 1. After the fog, let's add the god rays effects. Let's set the decay to 0.7, length is 0.1, and intensity should be 2.6. After the god rays, let's add the sun effects. Sun height should be 36.8 degrees, sun heading would be negative 106.4 degrees, sun brightness is 1, and sun disk size should be zero and that is pretty much it for the lumion rendering effects let's now render this image let's use the print size or 3840 by 2160 so that the image would be able to handle the post-production process well for the post-production process of this visualization we will be making a separated tutorial video for that we hope that you've learned something new from this video thank you so much for watching and have a good day